Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Porsche 911 GT2 RS Club Sport in multiplayer in Asphalt 9. I won this car in its Grand Prix at 3 stars, with all upgrades and import parts applied. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and the link to the Purple Team Discord is in the description if you would like to check that out. Lastly, I will be streaming this Saturday at 4.30pm GMT about the Lamborghini special event and multiplayer. I'm not sure if we'll get quite as many viewers as we did last time, but I hope to see you there. All of the races in this video were recorded in the rush season in Platinum League. And given that this is a pretty high-end A-Class car, you might imagine that, well, it was pretty easy. Not entirely. You see, this car, aside from just being at low stars, it's three stars, has some issues. Right there, I don't think that was an issue with the car. I didn't even go into that little bit on top that we know responds to there, but I thought I just touched the side and I'd done that many times before. Anyway, that glitch happened there and I got put back into second place, but this car, it's uh, not so great on ramps. It, for some reason, really likes to do single barrels in so many places when other cars would do double barrels. The guy ahead of us wrecked there, allowing us to get back into first place, but yeah, I do not know why that thing happened back there. Usually that's only happened if I've really like flown over into that area, and I'm not entirely sure why you wouldn't be able to go through there to begin with, because you think he would just fall through the ceiling because you can't actually drive in the place below there. Really weird. So we come in first in this race here against three Corvettes and a Huracan and we're in Platinum League. What I found is even in Platinum League, people still a lot of the time tend to gravitate toward high-end B-class cars, which I guess are easier to get in Max Pro than a lot of high-end A-class cars, and in terms of the Huracan and Corvette, likely easier to drive too. It's funny to see, but it makes sense if you think about it. Actually, one of the most common A-class cars that I've seen in multiplayer is the Huera BC, and I guess that makes sense because that car has always been known for being really good in multiplayer and really being one of the easiest high-end A-class cars to Max Pro, or Max. I made that same mistake in another video recently calling a car Max Pro when in Asphalt 9 all you have is Max, and I guess that's just because back in the Asphalt 8 days I would say Max Pro all the time. And speaking of Asphalt 8, a couple things I want to say about that, this is actually my 152nd Asphalt 9 multiplayer video, which probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but I have uploaded exactly 152 Asphalt 8 multiplayer videos. So this video marks the time when my Asphalt 9 multiplayer video count will equal my Asphalt 8 multiplayer video count. Now the other thing is I still do plan to make those videos about the one-to-one -one and the plethora in Asphalt 8, those cars that I said a long time ago that I would make videos of but never did. So those will be coming sometime too. I'm not entirely sure when. One of the cars I have upgraded a bit, but the other one I am still working on. But do not fear, guys. They will come. So this race here is, again, primarily against a bunch of Huracans. Ever since the Corvette was nerfed, I've seen basically half of the Corvettes just turn into Huracans. Now there are more Huracans than Corvettes in multiplayer, at least what I've seen in Platinum League when recording these races here. And I don't really see Gameloft nerfing the Huracan any, and I'm sure most people will agree that that wouldn't be a good idea. Yeah. So about the Huracan event, so far I have actually been pretty impressed with it. Currently, I'm at 41 out of 60 blueprints for it. I should be able to get it, and there are a few reasons why this event actually seems to be really good. First of all, you don't have to have your Lamborghinis much starred up. You just have to own them, and you can play the races on the days, at least so far. As of me recording this, the Centenario and the Egoista days haven't opened up yet, but I don't imagine them being all that much different. I suppose where it is helpful to have startup cars is to have an easier time beating the times to get some blueprints on the days, but even those did not seem to be too difficult. And you still have a lot of packs and tokens and credits that you can get otherwise. And it almost feels like a breath of fresh air, like a comeback of one of the events maybe a year ago or so where they didn't require bunches of gold cars. I'm liking it so far. It appears that in the later days of the event, some of them you can only play with higher starred Veninos, so what I'm I'm assuming is that once you unlock the car, there will be packs for it. Don't quote me on that though, as I do not know yet. But I'm pretty sure there's not enough blueprints to get this car to 5 star in the event, so I don't know what else it could be, because there is a day that requires 5 stars, it looks like. I made a video a few days ago about the Veneno 
know in its multiplayer season at max so if you would like to see how that card drives you may check that out there let me know if you would like to see me make another video when i get the car at lower stars because if it drives too much differently that might be an interesting one but at max it is a rather glitchy car not exactly in the same way as this one it doesn't so much have troubles going up ramps and getting few barrels but instead upon landing it sometimes just flips on its top and does stuff like that causing me to wreck so many times in that season i've gone off a ramp and then landed and my car has flipped over and i've gone from first to four out of five i remember one time recently because of that it's just one of those annoying things with the car that makes that season a bit less fun than it would have been had the car been actually stable I've actually managed to get to over 1800 rating in that season, which puts me at number 29 position right now on Windows. I'm going to try to get a top 100 in that season, like I always do when there are these kinds. Top 10 is a bit too difficult for me. I think that would just take way too much time and so many streaks of good races to actually get up there that the extra rewards really wouldn't be worth it. Although, it would be cool to get there one day. I think my highest was like 14. I'm pretty sure I got there one time, but yeah, never made a top 10. Although, one day, if there's a season that I feel like I really can do it with, I'm definitely going to try. And I'm talking about finishing the season in the top 10, not just reaching it, because I've reached top 1 a few times. So this race right here is against a Huracan, a Corvette, and a Pagani Huera BC. Basically, the three most popular cars in Platinum League and multiplayer. And on a track, the Caribbean, that they should be able to do pretty well on. The Huera his only real slight disadvantage, you might say, would be its kind of average acceleration. I believe it's below 80 even at max, but for the most part, its very good agility can make up for that. Now, I'm actually going faster than this Huracan here. He can go 222, I can go 226 or so, and so I managed to pass him around that turn, shockwave up this ramp, and cross the finish line in first place, but with him not too far behind. In case anyone was curious as to why I am not using the DK for this car. I did not come in the top three in the Grand Prix. I got six out of ten in tier one. And I think I said this before in a previous video, but I was glad of that because I got an epic for the Targa instead of this car, because you can't really use epics on this car unless you start up much higher, which I'm not going to do, so that would be useless to me. We have a few Grand Sports in this race, as always, but we're up against our older sibling, you might say, the 911 GT3 RS. Now, he is over 4,000 rank, and I'm only at 3,300 rank, so his car is better. A lot of people have asked me why I put the 911 GT3 RS where I did on my best and worst cars in each class list, because some people think that it's better than the Huracan and cars like that. Well, it's really close, but it's ever so slightly not as good. It's slower by about 3 miles per hour, and even though it does drift a little better, the Huracan has slightly better acceleration, and overall is just ever so slightly better. I would say same with cars like the Apollo and the Avia, but that one is extremely close to the top of Class B, so yes, if you have it at high stars, it's going to do you really well. It's just kind of not in the spotlight because it is not not one of the very best. I'm sure it can do really well on some twistier tracks, such as this one here, where it's managing to stay very close to us all the way throughout the race. I do have a video up on my channel about the 911 GT3 RS at max in a multiplayer season of it's a while back because I don't have the car still. I'm trying to get as many max multiplayer videos of cars as I can on my channel. I'm going to try to make one with this car. I'm going to get some races in that, hopefully, and the Terzo, and still that Max P11 is coming. I've got a lot of videos planned during the summer. So now it is time for my general review of this car. It is a pretty high-end A-class car. I can't really comment too much exactly on how it will do at max because, well, I haven't extensively tested it at max, but it drives very nice there. It drives okay here. It kind of feels rather average like it's okay to drive but some things about it like the weirdness on the ramps just make it feel a bit underwhelming I guess but overall it's a fine car for multiplayer you probably got it at two three or four stars if you did get it and so I would definitely recommend trying to take it out in multiplayer and just see what you can 
can do with it. Its top speed is okay for its class. Its drifting is also okay. Basically everything about it is okay. You're getting an okay car if you have this one at three stars. I'm currently hard at work on my next Asphalt 9 song. The music is all done. The lyrics are like halfway done. I'm still working on those, but you can probably expect that sometime in June or July. Ever since I uploaded one stunts three years ago now, that's crazy. I've uploaded a new Asphalt music video every six months and I plan to keep doing that for the foreseeable future. So we take the victory in this race. Thank you all for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content. And I'll see you in my next video or perhaps in the stream. Goodbye.